morning morning so we're finally getting ready to go to southampton this is my very first vlog i don't know what is gonna come out of it so we're gonna see i just took a shower and washed my hair so we're getting ready i have to find out where yogi is because he told me he went out to buy some sandwiches for the train but i don't know where he is i packed everything so i just have to fold yogi shirts and put away the last bits of my makeup and my skincare and then I think we're ready to go. We just spent the last hour and a half traveling with the loudest possible people uh, like kids I can understand but parents come on and they trash the, the train and it just makes me very upset every time I travel because it's like you know respect a little bit you have to respect the job of other people trashing the train in this way is just not okay. We are in Southampton, finally! And here we are, our little room where the jewelry is in. It's very close to the station. You have the bathroom straight away. I started to pick up some stuff with the bathtub guess we're sticking a bath tonight and well the toilet maybe you need to see that and and then there's Pablito on the bed for some reason they gave us an extra bed and I'm recording everything with my phone because I think the quality of the video is very nice we've got the TV and there's all like new rules so uh, they gave us all of the new rules here now you have you can decide if you want your housekeeping to come once a day every two days or every three days and that's pretty much it we never really book fancy hotels because at the end we're just coming here to sleep and then the rest of the time we're around so there's no point i think i think we're gonna take out some stuff from our suitcase and i'll put some of my stuff on the in the bathroom and so everything is there and ready and maybe we'll go out for a walk mm -hmm. and we'll start looking around we're not far from where all of the pubs bars and restaurants are it's just trying to figure out what is open and what not because i was looking yesterday to book a table for tomorrow mm -hmm. and it looks like some restaurants are still closed and fingers crossed just temporary and they're going to reopen soon because we are in the hospitality industry so we know how hard it got hit we're gonna freshen up a little bit and then we'll go out for a walk i sort of refreshed myself i didn't really do much i did put a little bit of makeup on this morning i'm not vamping up for the evening because we're just literally it's almost 5 30 so the idea is getting out by 5 30 having a walk around because we're pretty central and then uh, finding a place where to eat and then getting back to the room early ish and then tomorrow we have a full day where we're having a good walk around and then on sunday we have the train around i think it's at 2 30 something like that so the idea is having the breakfast and then just you know having another walk around before going in going back to london <gasps> i really feel sad there's all of these new rules now because of the covid they have the cafeteria that is closed so they bring you the um, um the breakfast to the room so they're gonna bring us the breakfast around seven o'clock i guess i've got my little friend here and i told myself because i could see this morning i told myself remember the pimple patches and obviously that is the thing that i did forget i brought all of the rest of my skincare makeup wise i kept it very simple i literally have just my trio from benefit 
and basically I use this for the makeup that I did this morning and I brought a black highlighter to vamp it up to vamp it up for the evening for tomorrow evening and that is it and then well the rest is normal I've got my Lumi for my skincare uh, this is the product that I just used to revive my makeup so I didn't reapply anything I just spritz this on my skin I've got all of my skincare here and I put it inside Ziploc Ziploc bags because I had way too many incidents where I had something popping open or exploding into my suitcase it happens every single time and then it was a pain to take it out and so yeah got all of my skincare here for the first time i got more skincare than makeup i'm just gonna wait for pavel and then he is gonna freshen up as well and then we're gonna go out for a little walk and then for dinner we have a beautiful beautiful park right next to the um, hotel this is the park it's very nice it's like the classic park where you wanna hello where you want to go for a good run I have to find a like, good running shoes because now I'm in the mood of running so tomorrow we might pop in the shopping center may or may not probably may and we're gonna have a look for a good pair of running shoes but yeah this is a park very pretty so Yogi wanted to come and see the sea did you like it? Cheers. <laughs> so I've just realized that I recorded a massive thing and I didn't press record. It was on the picture mode. Got my wine. Now we're just waiting for the food. And as I was saying before, we got in this very nice place called how's it called again? Red, uh, Red, Dog. Red Dog in the shopping center. It's very pretty. The food seems decently priced and I'm very very hungry. Okay, so here is the food. Now I already started eating the onion rings. I hope you guys can hear me. So you have the beef patty, there's a brisket, there's a cheese, barbecue sauce and you have the onion rings inside. This is called the hickory burger. It looks and smells freaking delish very 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 full so this is where the restaurant was it's a very nice court and these are all the original walls of the city so now the plan is going back to the hotel taking a bath because we have the bathtub we'll see what is gonna happen tomorrow i think tomorrow we're gonna just explore a little bit more but so far so good we do love this place good morning everyone second day in Southampton we're ready to go uh, Pavel is already downstairs waiting for me uh, so now I'm gonna go and uh, catch up with him and we're gonna go so we're going to the ocean village which is a place where we already wanted to go I don't know what's so special about it but houses in there are probably they're very very expensive so I guess it's a very nice area so we're going to have a look right now. Look at the park. So, so, so we are in the ocean village and this is what there is in the ocean village. Fancy schmancy. And we are on the opposite side of, of the marina. We're going to get a coffee because at the hotel we couldn't have a decent coffee like the coffee that we had in the room was very bad having our coffees it's very nice in here very nice and quiet and then that is the harbor hotel and it has the shape of a boat if you look at it from above which is very very cool ocean village is so so pretty we do like it. We are aiming to go to the beach right now. So hopefully we'll see you there. So we ended up ditching going to the beach because it was too far. So we came to the shopping center. Uh, 
because mainly I'm looking for shoes but I can't find anything that I actually like and they're supposed to be like comfy shoes for work and I can't find I can't find anything and I'm starting to get upset about it so there's plenty of other shops around the shopping center Pavel just bought a present for our anniversary and I'm gonna show it to you when we get to the hotel he's always trying to be sneaky so I went inside the Yankee Candle shop because I do love Yankee Candles and while I was in there he went inside Pandora and got me a little charm now we're just figuring out where which way we have to go we had to come back to the hotel no we had to we wanted to because we're old and we get tired very easily mm -hmm. so yeah we're gonna just lay down for a minute and then we're gonna need to pee at the end we didn't even book to go anywhere so hopefully we will not have to wait to get a table because it did look quite busy no yeah so the shops open so people are going to yeah. shopping we ended up finding the shoes this is the little charm that yogi gave me so i've got pandora bracelet and i like getting a charm from everywhere that we visit and in like behind i love you to the moon and back so i hadn't actually realized that when we got back to the hotel it was two o'clock now it's three o'clock we laid down for like an hour my feet are killing me to be honest and now we're going to book <laughs> Sorry. now we're going to book a table for tonight so i don't know where we ended up but this little bit is very cute and i love i don't know if that's a pub it's very nice you find the best things when you get lost it looks like a whole separate village look at these houses yeah thank god it was not behind you when you fell for the third time today <laughs> very cute corner of the city this is a tudor house it looks so nice the shame is closed it looks so cool my hair is just in a horrible condition okay so i didn't vlog much because there was not much to vlog about we were just wandering around trying to find a restaurant all the restaurants are fully booked the first bookings available that everyone has is like after 10 o'clock and i'm like by 10 o'clock i'm planning to be asleep already because we're pretty tired we've been we've been walking a lot we just we just want to eat and rest i was surprised that it was so hard to book a table tonight to be honest given that everyone is like oh the restaurants are empty and now everyone is saying that they're fully booked we have the booking at 7 30 so it's what's the time i think it's around five o'clock so my plan is like soaking for a little bit in bathtub and then i have a dress that i'm not sure i fit in anymore um i hope so because otherwise i don't really have anything else to wear getting ready to go out this uh, dress it has let me hold it with this hand an open back an H&M dress I wanted to show you the shoes I found these shoes because I was looking for shoes for work and when I was managing I had to like dress smart so I had to find shoes that were comfortable but that they, they look smart they didn't want any trainers so I found these ones so these are called the butterfly twist flat shoes and i picked this color because it's like a nude color and it goes with everything and they look like chanel flat shoes so i was like these are mine and these are so easy to travel with as well because they literally fold and you have your little bag where you put it in and honestly i walked in these shoes for so so many hours and the, the bottom it looks like it's brand new and they're super comfy that's why i took them because i was like i'm sure that after all the walking that we're gonna do i'm not gonna be able to wear high heels so and we decided we found another restaurant that is even closer to the hotel where uh, so we're going there we booked a table there 
we're having burritos and basically Mexican stuff. As accessories, I have these earrings. These are Swarovski and it's a bracelet. And these are actually, this is actually the jewelry that I had on my wedding day. So we just finished dinner. I didn't film it because it was not what we were expecting. So it was more a sort of a burrito Mexican cafe. It's not what was planned, but was still very good because the burrito was very nice. And we had nachos with just cheese on top, which again, very nice. So now we're out for ice cream. We wanted to have our dessert so much that we forgot to film when it was intact. So I already had this part of the crepe. I have got a crepe with white chocolate and strawberries and whipped cream. So freaking good. How's your Sunday, babe? Good morning. Last day in Southampton. A little bit sad of going back to London, to be honest. I'm not looking forward to it. We're gonna get ready. I still have to put everything back in the suitcase. Yogi wants to leave by 11 because he doesn't want to rush. We're gonna have a quick lunch and then we have the train at 2.30 and then by 4 o'clock, even before 4 o'clock, we are arriving in London. Check out that. We're going back to the marina because we turns out that we just love that place. So we're going there to have lunch. We're gonna hang there for a little bit and then go back to the Station. We got our lunch. I've got some linguine with seafood and Yogi has a combo with wings and ribs. There's a corn on the cob. He has these chunky chips. Enjoy baby. So here's what happened. I was getting in the cab and I mean the, the, the my pants are not feeling very tight and I got in the car and I felt like I heard the noise of the pants ripping so I have a rip that goes from the middle of my thigh where there's the sewing bit to basically half of my butt cheeks so very nice but Yogi said you can't see anything and I can't get to my jeans at the moment and there's nowhere where I can change so I guess I'll have to keep my pants as they are until we get to London We just arrived in London and Yogi decided that he wants to take a walk by the river. So that's where we're going. This walk is very sentimental for us because this is where me and Yogi used to come every single night when we started dating just to spend a bit of time together that it wasn't just at work. So yeah, we didn't do this walk in a very, very long time. And the people that will get superpowers after they get out of the river pretty sure it's radioactive so after walking all the way in South Bank all the way to Tenth Pole from Waterloo because we're that weird they didn't walk enough these days we're finally heading home it's freaking hot I'm wearing a cardigan I'm very very hot <laughs> so I can't wait to get home and take these off and so have a look at my pants at the rip that I have in there <laughs> and well that's pretty much it you guys I hope you did enjoy this vlog my very first vlog I don't know what is gonna come out of it I hope something decent and have a great day and I'll see you again soon Mwah. bye